Ah, number zero. How are you feeling? I heard about you losing steam at Crosby early this afternoon. I am still a little woozy, Finn Director, sir. But nothing a simple patch-up can't fix. I should be up and running by tomorrow. Hmm, yes, well... With our railway and the Wellsworth Railway now linked together, all we just need to do is finish the viaduct with the Sodor and Mainland. That way, we can finally become a whole railway. It shall get even busier than when you were built for. Oh, not to worry, sir. <coughs> I'm sure I can manage the extra workload. That's just the thing, number zero. Once the Northwestern Railway is finally merged, we shall be getting newer engines, stronger engines, reliable engines to work the main line. But what would that leave me with, sir? Unfortunately, your working life will come to an end, and you shall be used as spare parts for the other engines. W what Fin Director, sir, I can still be really useful. I can still work one of the branch lines or become a shunter. The Fat Director said he can easily patch up and fix my steamer problems, like how he built the coffee pots. I don't care what that bucket of lard says, number zero. What you seem to forget is you were built by me. Meaning, I have the final say on what shall be done with you. But... That's unfair, sir. I've done nothing but work my best for the last two years on this railway. And that was my mistake. As soon as you were built, I should have dismantled you and started all over again. You're nothing more than a failed engine, number zero. It's a miracle that you lasted as long as you did. With your rough riding, leaking steam pressure, overly long wheelbase and incapability to handle any train. The passengers have constantly complained that you bounce them off their seats and you're just too weak to handle any proper goods train. You put my name to shame, Timothy, and I am deeply disappointed in you. But I have agreed for you to pull one last train tomorrow before you get shunted to the back of the shed. Now, good night. Oh, I should never have stolen those E2 plans. Thank you for finally understanding, Timothy. I told you that there would be a big show for your last train. Now remember, smile for the passengers. Of course, sir. I hope my final trip will make the passengers and you happy. That's a good engine. Full steam ahead, Timothy. Timothy? Sure thing. Timothy, where are you going? Timothy, what are you doing? Timothy, stop! The viaduct isn't finished! Come back! Timothy, don't! You'll kill us all!
Easy does it. Almost up. <laughs> I cannot believe an engine could do that to themselves. Even with a train full of passengers too. It makes my wheels wobble to think of it. It's best we try and move on from this experience. One step at a time, the passengers will learn to trust us once again. But for the meantime, Edward, please deliver these remains to Groven's Gate Works. Very well, sir, but why? Though the engine is far too gone, perhaps the men there can make good use of these parts. Something better. Right away, sir. be our new number two! Why, hello there. I'm Edward. Pleasure to meet you, Edward. My name is Glyn. I hope you will like it here. Indeed. I think I will. I'm just sorry I don't have many passengers for this lovely railway. Oh, it's not your fault, Edward. That engine you replaced did ruin the railway. At least we didn't get closed down is the main thing. Oh, and Edward, meet Lily. She's one of the engines who works on the Wellsworth branch line. Well, I used to, but now our railway's gotten much bigger now. I'll be needed elsewhere on the main line. I sure hope so. We need all the engines we can get to make this a really useful railway. I'll see you both around. Well, I guess the only question left now is, what happened to him? Hmm. Taken for scrap, I guess. Not much you can use broken metal for. Every year on the days of the Axed, he runs again. As a warning to others. Plunging into the gap, shrieking like a lost soul. Wake up, lazy bones. Why don't you work hard like me? <laughs> <laughs> right, Thomas. I've got to get ready to pull my next train. I'll see you later. 
Okay. Bye, Edward. Whoa. What? I don't remember you from Brighton. Are you my new sister to keep an eye on me? I was just built at the works here. I ain't seen you before, nor know who you are. Well, I'm Thomas. Okay, Tom Tom. I'm Martha. So, are you here to help me shunt at the station? What? No, that's your job. I'm here to shunt in the yards. You can deal with the big engines. Oh. Oh, that's what we need. Another silly little engine scampering around the yards, getting in the way. I said we got another little engine, Edward. Hello? Ah! What? What is the matter with you, Edward? You look like you've seen a ghost. No, not that. Just... perhaps something else. 